rock and learn. I bet there are all kinds of coins inside my piggy bank. I can't wait to see what they look like. Let's sing a song to learn about the different coins. <laughs> the coin that's worth one cent. That's the smallest amount. Is the copper colored penny. And each penny gets one count. The nickel is Thomas Jefferson The Declaration of Independence Draftsperson The smallest coin we have Is the thin little dime with Franklin D. Roosevelt On the front at this time Ten cents is the worth of the dime It's easy to remember As we sing this rhyme is a quarter. The edge has many grooves. It's worth 25 cents. Now check out these moves. Oh, so many quarters. All different on the back. Variety is one thing. The quarters do not lack. George Washington's been on the front, it's true Of the quarter of a dollar Since 1932 On the front of the half dollar Kennedy It's worth 50 cents But you won't find many <laughs> Dollar coins changed color From silver to gold It helps tell them apart from quarters, I am told Sacagawea is on the one that looks gold But Susan B. Anthony is on the silver one of old Who is Sacagawea? Sacagawea was a famous Shoshone interpreter and guide in the early 1800s, she helped two famous explorers, Lewis and Clark, discover new lands in the western part of the United States. If it wasn't for Sacagawea, Lewis and Clark may never have seen the Great Plains or the Pacific Ocean. Wow, Bill, that's a really neat story. I guess all those people who are on the coins must be very important to the United States. That's right, Penny. In fact, starting in 2007, the U.S. Mint began releasing four new dollar coins every year. 
Each one of these coins will have the face of a different American president on the front, and all of them will have the Statue of Liberty on the back. Here are just a few of these coins. They're about the same size and color as the Sacagawea dollar. But look! They have writing on the edge. Now that we know what the coins look like, let's learn to count them. We'll start by counting pennies. Uh, wow, Penny. It kind of looks like you. I don't know. I don't really see the resemblance. Now, if we want enough pennies to equal a dollar bill, we'll have to count 100 pennies. We could count them one by one. Or to make it go a little faster, we could count by twos. Pulling two pennies toward us each time we count. That sounds like a good idea. One penny is also called one cent. So two pennies are two cents. Let's count by twos until we have a dollar, or 100 cents. Two, two four, four, six, eight, eight ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. 32, 34, 36, 38, 40. 42, 44, 46, 48, 50. 52, 54, 56, 58, 60. 62, 64, 66, 68, 70. 72, 74, 76, 78, 80, 82, 84, 86, 88, 90, 92, 94, 96, 98, 100. Hooray! We counted 100 cents. That's a whole dollar. There are other ways we can count pennies, too. We can put them in stacks of five or 10, and skip count using the stacks. Putting pennies in stacks also makes it easier if we have to count them with other coins. Like the nickel. Nickels are the silver-colored coins with Thomas Jefferson on the front, and they have a very smooth edge. They're also thicker and heavier than pennies. That's right. Now remember, nickels can have different designs on them. They're made that way by the United States Mint. Mmm, I love mints, especially chocolate mints. <laughs> no, Penny, not that kind of mint. When we are talking about coins, the word mint means a place where the coins are made. Take a look at these nickels. They all have Thomas Jefferson on the front, but this one has a close-up of him. Even though they look a little different from each other, each nickel is still worth five cents. So counting nickels is like counting by fives. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Twenty-five, thirty. Thirty-five, forty. Forty-five, fifty. Fifty-five, sixty. Sixty-five, seventy. Seventy-five, eighty. Eighty-five, ninety. Ninety-five, one hundred. Now that we've counted the nickels up to a dollar, let's see how many nickels it took to make that dollar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So, to make a dollar, we need 100 pennies or 20 nickels. Let's see how many dimes we need to make a dollar. Dimes are the smallest coins of all, and they have Franklin D. Roosevelt on the front. The edges of the dimes are not smooth. They have ridges. But wait a second. If dimes are worth more than nickels and pennies, why are they the smallest coin? Well, let me tell you a little about the history of money. Dimes, quarters, half dollars, and dollar coins used to be made of real silver. The half dollar weighed half as much as a dollar, the quarter weighed one-fourth as much as a dollar, and the dime weighed one-tenth as much as a dollar. 
Nickels and pennies were always made of metals that weren't as precious as silver. Because if the coins were smaller than a dime, they'd be easy to lose. That's why the dime is our smallest coin. Yeah. Wow, that's interesting. But our coins aren't made of silver anymore, are they, Bill? No, not anymore. All coins minted today are made of metals that are less valuable, like copper, nickel, and zinc. All right, let's learn how to count the dimes. Because dimes are worth 10 cents each, we need to count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Let's see, how many dimes did it take to make a dollar? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten dimes make a dollar. Now, let's count some quarters. Take a look at all these different kinds of quarters. In 1999, the U.S. Mint started a program to commemorate each of the 50 states in the order that they joined the Union. Each state is honored by having its own design on the back of the quarter. So, about every 10 weeks from 1999 to 2008, the Mint has changed what is on the back of the quarter. Quarters made before 1999 have an eagle on the back. But all quarters have our first president, George Washington, on the front. I've always thought counting quarters was fun. 25, 50, 75, a dollar. 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 So it takes only one, two, three, four quarters to make a dollar. That's because a quarter is one fourth of a dollar, or 25 cents. Look, Bill, this coin is really big. Yes, Penny, it is. And you know what else? It's worth even more than a quarter. <gasps> no, really? <laughs> yes. A half dollar is worth 50 cents. So we only need two of these half dollars to make a dollar. 50 cents a dollar. 50 cents a dollar. 50 cents a dollar. Two half dollars make one dollar. <laughs> that just makes sense. But we usually don't see many of these half dollars around. They are a lot bigger than quarters. And they have John F. Kennedy on the front. The next coins are the dollar coins. We have the Sacagawea coin and the Susan B. Anthony coin. Each is worth one dollar, just like the presidential dollar coins. 